Let them lies. But you gotta make it, cause you gotta preach it, that's every time. Yo guys, Sidok here, coming at you with an unusual tutorial, because as you can see, I have a fire stick up and running on my screen. But, I am using a bit of faffable software, to say the least, so I can stream it from the fire stick to the PC, so then it's just this little window here, but that is not the tutorial I am doing today. The tutorial I'm doing today is how to show you how you can play Fortnite on, on your fire stick. So, it is very straightforward, and... Yes, I can use my mouse and keyboard with um, the Fire Stick whilst it's attached to this little piece of software. So, obviously, you go to the end where you've got all your apps. Click on Get More Apps. Whenever it decides to. Just disclaimer is a little slow whilst I'm doing this tutorial. But of, of course, you guys do not need um, the software I'm using to record for the Fire Stick. So, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be clicking on Search. As you can see, obviously it's not popping up with the thing for like the Fire Stick remote or anything, which is kind of ironic. Okay, I know it does. Um, um, we need to be looking for this here. Uh, it says Luna App, Luna, Luna, Luna Games. So we're going to click on Luna App. Now, I have already done this on my... Fire Stick downstairs, I was just tinkering with it just to see what would work. And obviously, it comes up with things like GTA 3, which I don't know if that's part of Luna or not, but nonetheless, like, I'm just going to show you. It might be part of Luna, it might not. I've not found. Um, obviously, that's not what I'm looking for. I just spotted it, I thought I'd just see. So, we're going to click on Luna. Like I say, you do have to apologise because, of course, it's a bit slow as it is delayed with this particular software, like very delayed. Um, so we're going to click on download. And it says I own it because it's attached to my other Fire Stick because it's on the same network with the same account. So it's like, when I first set it up, it was, would you like to install it to a device? Now it's, I own it, so um, it's just saying I can download it. And so I did click. Um, download. No, it's not doing anything. I oh, know, it just took its time. And bear in mind, I can still do this with a fire stick remote. It just it takes its time. Obviously, we've just got to let that do its thing. It's going to be a while, guys, as, you know, it's delayed. So, obviously, now it's done. So, I've pressed the home screen on my Fire Stick, and it's doing absolutely nothing. There we go. So, it's obviously downloaded. So, what we're going to do, we're going to click on More Apps again, just so you can see that it's there. Um... Click on. I've just got to wait for this to catch up. Click on My Apps. And it should be in here. Your apps and channels. As you can see, Luna is right here. So we're going to click on Luna. Like I said, the main tutorial on this is just to show you how you can play Fortnite on your Fire Stick and Cloud Play it um, to the Fire Stick. <coughs> now it's just taking its sweet time. And funny enough, the most recent thing I've played with this was Fortnite. <coughs> <coughs> Obviously, just a quick disclaimer, you do need Amazon Prime to get this. Um, Luna does also have its own separate subscription if you choose to purchase that. Um, and obviously, Fortnite is right here, so you would click on Fortnite. Uh, 
um, you'd click on play now. Obviously, I have it in a playlist, um, just so I can find it. Um, it says use an Xbox controller or so on and so on, um, which I completely forgot about. But you can also connect something like an Xbox One controller to the Fire Stick, like you would the Fire Stick TV remote. And as it's Bluetooth, it would navigate with the Fire Stick, with the Xbox controller, which you'd be able to play um, that with that. So I'm going to click close for now. Um, we're going to go back to the home screen and while I do that I'm going to turn on my Xbox controller of course it's not um, set up on this um, Fire Stick because if I press the Xbox button it's going to just boot to the PC it's going to show it on the PC um, so we need to go to settings in order for the controllers to work this obviously can also be applied for PlayStation controllers as well, for anyone who has a PS4 and PS5. Whenever you want to load, I did click settings, I don't know why you're being slow. Well, I'll say that, it's just fucking delayed. Like, I'm, I'm clicking settings and it's just like, nope. Just wants to be awkward, you see. Right, I'm sure I click settings. Right, can I still move it with this? I can. Oh, but it's just a little delayed. So we're going to just whip our way across. Mm hmm. Well, it's going to slowly catch up so what we're trying to aim for is obviously settings and don't get me wrong this would have been a few minute tutorial if this wasn't so delayed so now we're on settings and we need to come down and look for remotes and bluetooth devices which is just there on the second row And then click. So then we click on game controllers. And then start syncing the Xbox controller. Add a new game controller whilst it's syncing. So it's now going to search for controllers whilst this is popping, whilst this is syncing to see if it syncs. <coughs> as you can see it's just popped up so we're going to click on xbox wireless controller so as you can see it's pairing controller and the light stopped flashing as you can see it's just popped up as well so it's connected so we're going to go back to the home screen Now we're going to click on the more apps option at the end. Now I'm doing it with mouse because it's just quick, slightly quicker than using the remote. Then click on my apps. Then we're going to relaunch Luna. Now we're going to click play on Fortnite. And hopefully it doesn't pop up with a blubbering what controller you want to use because I've actually got one connected. As you can see it's loading. And there we have it. We have Fortnite on the Fire Stick. Now obviously I've already played this so it's going to just log me in straight away. Of course you will need to log in with your account or Fortnite account. You know like you would if you was playing any game to sign in to actually you know for it to accept that you've got an account over there you could also create one if you are new to fortnite and you don't have a games console or pc and you just want to play it this way it is doable it's slightly behind in terms of the frame and the internet connection because obviously it's cloud that's just a given with technology at the moment now we're currently waiting for it to it says connecting but 
it could also be fine on the fire stick as i can't see that on a direct source at the moment as my pc's taking over my monitor so it's currently logging me in and it's catching up a little and like i say you don't need to have this particular recording software you don't have to have it to a pc you can just work off like any a monitor a tv wherever um you're playing it obviously excuse the quality because it's blurry because i'm trying to cloud play it whilst it's streaming to um another device there we go and as you can see it's up and running and my account's loaded obviously i can navigate with the controller as you can see it is delayed that's a given because of the software more than anything else um it's not actually that bad with the fire stick directly but yeah i do hope you enjoyed guys quick tutorial on how you can play fortnite on a fire stick and yeah don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you found this tutorial useful until then guys i'll see you in the next video and of course peace